Are you looking for reliable references for your research? Then you're blessed. My channel is for you. I am Sir Leo at your service. Good day. Our speaker is a graduate of Doctor of Education, major in Educational Management at Cebu Normal University. He is currently the Dean of the College of Education at Visay State University, Leyte. Please welcome Dr. Byron S. Barredo. Allow me to present. Okay, so after you, after ni mo pag transcribe na nakay line of the analysis, si mo analysis. After any, let's say how many how many informants do you have? You have four informants or five or pila kung daghan ka ayong mga mga cases that they have experienced the same phenomenon. Okay, so tanan ni mo nga analysis ibalhin ni mo in one. Uh, can he, this one into this code? Okay, let's say for example, for your respondent number one, that is your respondent number one, number two, number three, number four. Okay, so imuna na osaon. I'm going to show you some example as well. So, nakahibaw naman mo ani di ba pag code on say common, what is common to the four. So, imo na siya himuan. After that, nanina po ka sa code book 2. Sa code book 2, imo na siya himuan og mga, mga, what's this? Mga subcategories or sub-themes. From sub-themes, wait first. I'll stop this. Kaya na ko i-show sa inyo ng another example. Wait for a moment. O join ko sa ako.
this is also an example of Beno. But they do it like this. Diba? Tanawa ang iyang pag arrange sa iyang mga emerging emerging themes, categories, and subcategory. Diba? So your subcategory, let's say for example, can you, like subcategory fear of what, based sa imong mga, mga analysis and description that is common or that are common to to all your respondents or to all your informants. So imo siya is sub-theme, mao niya mga sub-theme, tapos from that sub-theme, iyan na po categorize From that category, like say fear of what will happen, uncertainty with the future, anger to self, denial. So ang iyang category and is emotional challenges. Diba? Then another na po, stigma from community, prejudice from family and friends, discontinued education. Ang iya category diri is consequences of action. So from this category, nag-create sa o theme, major theme, facing the ordeal. So in, in, you, you can present it this way as well as your summary. Mas, ma, mas nindot po niya, i-present niyo in that way. Okay? Or pwede na po ka tong akong usang away po kani kay gi-summarize man niya. So mas mas nindot po, mas klaro kung giunsa nimo pag-perform sa imong pag-analyze sa imong mga themes. Or pwede ra pud ka mo diretso ing aron ang katong usa na kong example, i-hide din ako. I mean i-hide it, close. I stop o present na pud usa. So that you will have you know a lot of examples. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You can have it this way as well. Can you back? So, from here, you will get a mga a mga a statement. Then you make. You make your your theme code. Mama ni pinaka main theme ni mo. I also have some depression. Sa katung pag Mister, sa katung pag transcribe siya kana. Apilon pang kwan mga ang ako lagi ingon pag kwan pag pamamutan na. Yes, yes. You can you can include that. Naman po kung mga interviews nga gi include na ko ang ako mga questions. This one, I don't know how na abanadi. Or kwan siya kan? Ilangan jud siya or kwan dili? Not necessary, but it would be better po yun na asa. Like one, this one, okay. So I have here the I N J. So the I is the is is the interviewer. Like there is a question. Okay, the interviewer will ask, then the answer. Ang kanang mga J mao na ang answer. Diba? Ang mga I, mauna ang interviewer. Then mga J, mga answer. So pwede. You, you, can, you can do it that way also. Asa pa man. Asa pa man ko mag-start. Asa pa man mo dili ninyo ma-clear. Ma, ma okay, I'm going to present my koan. Thank you, this is my way of presenting my analysis. Okay? Tapos ang ganiha po na ko nga show, that's a different way of showing your analysis through the summary of your sub-themes and themes. I think this is not yet a code book to code book. Yes, Landmark, what's your question? So, Di na na necessary ang mag-form pag sub-themes, sir? Di na necessary ang? Pag-form o sub-themes. Tapos, diretso na lang main theme. Oh, not not necessary. Pwede ra ka mag-diretso ka sa main, uh, main theme. Pero, um, there are some situation or there are some, uh, like, if it's for publication nga, pangayuan ka gani o mga sub-themes. 
like how did you come up with this emergent thing diba? how did you come up with this emergent thing like nganong nakaingon man ka nga your major theme is depression for example diba ang imo gi major theme is depression so there must be some other sub themes that describes why it becomes depression thank you sir wait first may balik na ko pag present kanisa Look at this. Okay. Yun sa niya pakakam up or on sa meaning sa iya based sa study, based on the result that came out from his study, from, from the analysis. Ang yung major theme is facing the ordeal. Okay. So from facing the ordeal, nakapas siya yung mga, mga sub theme or subcategory that describes about facing the ordeal. So, nasa emotional challenges and consequences of action. Ang iyang path to parenthood, before siya nakakam up, ano sa may mga sub-themes that describes about path to parenthood? Health concerns, socioeconomic sacrifices, educational struggles, family adjustment. Actually, you can create some themes from, from the emerging themes based on your analysis. Daghan ka anag ma-create. It's actually a matter of uh, wordplay or play of words up to ma-emerge ang, ang kanang, kanang mga major theme. Okay? Now, in, in my study, let's say, for example, sa ako study po, any, because this is not common Dilini sa common because this only appeared during Yolanda. So wala siya yung mga sub-themes because the meaning here comes from the, the original experience of the, of the, what's this, of my informants. Let's say, for example, unperturbed and use. Okay? So ang ako sub-theme is na, na ako'y linyen. Okay? They are lenient. Nga nung nakaingon man ko nga unperturbed and used na sila. Diba? Or unperturbed sila. Nga nung wala sila na natinag. Diba? That is what we mean by unperturbed. Wala sila natinag. Big natinag. Or wala sila bali, ang sabi na sa Bisaya. Um, wala ra nila gipansin. Diba? Wala ra nila gipansin ang mga warning because they're too lenient. Diba? The informants described themselves as lenient before the onset of Super Typhoon Yolanda. They did not worry and no action was taken after they heard the news and warning. Comments related to lenient were heard. Oh, mauna na yung statement. We're not a bit disturbed by pag-asas forecast of storm surge. So kuha ko na ninimo dito sa ilang original statement. But your interpretation, maumani ang ako interpretation or meaning of lenient, okay? You create the meaning and then you validate it to your informants. Sakto ba ni nga ako ka, ka define sa lenient? So the informants describe themselves as lenient before the onset of Super Typhoon Yolanda because they did not worry, no action was taken after they heard the news and warning. So wala ra sila, nagpakawalang bahala ra sila. Okay? Another sub theme na ako, they are calm and feeling secure. Okay? So what's the meaning of this? Imo na po i-describe. The informants describe themselves as calm and felt secure before the onset of Super Typhoon Yolanda. They feel calm and secure because of the many typhoon that passed by their place and which their houses always survive. Diba? So they thought Yolanda was the same typhoons as the previous ones. That's why they are calm and secure kay sa kadaghan na good nga bagyo nga na agi din sa late wala man naguba ilang balay wala man sila na naunsa or whatsoever so that's being calm and feeling secure so unsa man nga mga statement kuhaon nimo ang ilang mga statement or ilang mga answer sa interview okay so in you stop typhoon so mao ni ang akong sub theme okay 
these sub-themes emerges during the interview. Magkalain-lain, based po sa imong analysis and interpretation. And then, I come up with one major theme. They are unperturbed and used. Okay? So from sub-themes, I was, I was able to create a major theme. Emotion-focused outcome, shocked and denial. First, they are shocked and denial at first after what happened. They've experienced depression. On say meaning sa depression sa ila. Okay? So that is based from their statement. Struggle. So I have this thing. Emotion-focused outcome. Okay? Ikaw ang mag-create, Ana. Or you can search, okay, maka-search maka kag information niya na something that describes about these sub-things. Kung ang tao, shock and denial, kung ang tao naka-experience of depression, kung ang tao naka-experience of struggle, what possibly, or traumatic grief, what possibly the description of these experiences, di ba? So I was able to search emotion focus. Okay, focus raman ni siya sa emotion, kanin shock and denial, depression, emotion mana, na, ba? Struggle, emotion struggle ni here. This is not physical struggle. It is an emotion struggle and then the traumatic grief, trauma. Trauma is based on emotion, not on the physical uh, uh, aspect, but on the emotional aspect. That's why I labeled it or I themed it as emotion-focused outcome. Okay? So, ikaw ang mag -creatan. It's a matter of creativity of words that you use in describing the sub-things or the things. Pero naapod, na wala kay sub-things, na po interpretation po nyo, wala kay sub-thing. Ang sabat to. Kalimot na po, ang sabat to. Ang resilience, look at this resilience. I, I, I wasn't able to come up with sub-things that describes resilience. So ako ra sa gibutang as resilience, that's one thing. Diba? Usara sa ka theme about resilience. Kay tanawa ang ilang, ang ilang, even the word resilience come, came out from the interview. Then I let her, or yeah, I let her define what resilience for her is. Okay? Like, there's always a silver, oh, before pa kang Katriona Gray, ni gawas na ning silver lining sa ako interview. This, uh, this was 2015. So, 2018 ang Miss Universe. Nanay Silver Lining. Asaman to. Oh, when I talk about what transpired me. So, these, uh, these answers, I only come up with one thing. That is only resilience based on their answers. And I cannot think of other sub things that might describe uh, resilience. And that is only resilience. So, ingana siya. Did I answer your question? Can sa to? Possible siya. Possible siya nga. Diretso ra siya sa major thing. But there are some um, ideas or answers nga murag need ni mo isabtema, eh, isab, na kay subthematics. Okay? So, ingana siya. Go back to another example. Ang kani. Katungo sa nga example. You can compare and contrast which one is easier for you to do and asa ang valid. Because in the in the journal where I published my my what's this? Published my study. Wala sa nagneed of summary kani nagneed sa of summary tanawa. Ang iya ang iya term is category. Nasa isab category category then theme. Ang ako sub theme sub theme. Then, theme dayon sa category. Ang ako, gikategorize naman to. You, you can have it this way. Tanawa po dang niya. Pero pag present niya, look at this. Pag present niya sa iyang thematic, gianak ra niya, diretso na sa theme. Wala na niya gisab theme. Wala man niya gisab theme sa iyang discussion or presentation of the result, maugi pangayuan sa og summary of the th sub themes and category subcategory you can present it this way diretso na ka sa imong imong major theme ana oh ana gamay ra man gani ang iyang gipang capture ang ako kay gitagdagan you can have one 
to five statements depende na sa publication ay uban nya papun-an na uban nya limit to two because let's say for example they only need five pages i mean 15 pages of publication so gamay ra ang imo ibutang nga mga statement kani sa nagname tanawa ang iya pag name ang ako kay codeman di ba code ang iya participant iya gin name but these are only made names ikaw ra maghimo ani Okay, ang, ang researcher ang maghimuhimu ani nga ni. Then you can present it that way as well. Now, this study, you can search this one para mag-guided mo how uh, the researcher, uh, you, you can search this one. Educational experiences of adolescent mothers while studying college in the Philippines. Okay, this is in the Adas Adamson University. You can search this, you can make this as your reference in creating your, your or in analyzing or creating your discussion for your, for your um, pheno or phenomenology. Okay? What else? What's up man in your question? Excuse me, sir. Yes, pressure. Good afternoon, sir. Kanang, afternoon. Ang sub themes ba, sir? Kanang, okay ra if wala or mas maayo gid nga na a. Um, pwede lang sa ni mo. Bas, it would be better nga na a judge sa kay wala ta kahibaw in, in some journal. They will ask for the sub themes. Okay? So it's, it's good nga na a. I know you have difficulty in analyzing and creating some things. Okay? As I've said, it's, it's, it's a play of words. Okay? But to have a better study, to have a better output of research, then it would be great. It would be great. It would be best. It would, it would be better if there are some things. Okay? Pero kung ang imong, ang iyang description or ang iyang answer or ang imong data wala joy sub theme nga mga ma-create then no need, no need to create for sub themes diba pero kung pagtan-aw nimo na adyo kay mga sub themes ma-create ani before you can come up with the major thing then you should create sub themes okay kay kung tan-aw nimo diri wala sa na present sa iyang discussion or sa uh, presentation of the findings wala niya gi-present ang oh, tanawa. Look at this. Wala siya yung mga sub-themes compared sa ako ng mga sub-themes. Pero at the later part, gi-present niya ang mga sub-themes in summary. Okay? You can do it this way or you can do it as how I how I did it in my research. Na naasa ubus ang mga sub-themes. Okay? So either, okay, either of the two, which uh, you are comfortable of doing, okay. But it would be best, as I've said, it would be best, it would be better, it would be great if you have subcategorized or you have created a subthematic uh, concepts of their answers, okay. It will make your study more reliable, more trustworthy. In Anasa, more valid. Okay. So in Anasa. Thank you, sir. Okay. What else? Ako, I encourage you to do it this way. Okay, mas sayon siya himo on. Diba? Limit your theme. I limit ang imo theme. Mga ayo ayo daghana nga maglibog na lang. Maglibog na ka. Okay. Basta, kay kung imo gani sa i-present into sub-category, daghan ka ayong nga themes mo gawas. I-present po ni mo category, medyo daghan-daghan po. For as kung imo na sa giing ani from sub-category to category to major theme, or from sub-theme to major theme, murag mo gamay na ang imong thematic. Diba? Same energy. Okay, any more? Naapa ba? 
Good afternoon, sir. Napay yes, question. Afternoon. Yes, Athena. Uh, okay, Roman. Maski pila lang, maski pila ka sa ni team, sir, no? Hmm. Basta, nakapture ni mo tanan ha ang ilang mga answers na atanan. Ang, ang imong, sometimes, a bit biased good ka kay Murag, imo man sa i, imo raman sa i-control kung unsa nga team, but make sure nga tanan gusto possible ni mo gusto i, i butang din ha as team is imo ma-capture or possible nga mga mga outcome from from the interview okay it's also good that you will have mga literatures sa mga literatures ni mo or sa imong mga readings na kay mang makita nga mga similar gani nga mga possible themes na mga mugawas, then capture that in your study. In other words, mas reliable ka because you can you can anchor the result from the previous result of the study. Oh, diba? okay, sir. Yes. Thank, Thank you, sir. Better sa kung nanay mga existing study, ah, ni gawas ni siya sa theme, ani nga akong literature na nabasa. Tanawon na ko sa ako result, kung nakapod ni siya or possible po ni siya nga team mo gawas sa ako result or sa interview or sa sa katong mga answers sa akong informants. Okay? Pero kung wala, Jun, ayaw po, sa habasin po, so gawas na, wala sa dinha sa imo gi-interview, maglisod ka na o himo-himo o kuan, kaning-kaning mga mga quoted statement, original statement from the interviewee or from your informant. Okay? So, ayaw pugsa kung wala siya. Okay. Uh Oo, -oh, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. What else? May pag ako na lang nagtudloan yung feno, no? Sa mga ni Sir Leo. Okay. <laughs> um, like you search other koan, you search other. Kung sa may mga title nang inyong mga nakuwe, mga kani ang iyang title is sure ko ang inyong mga title is about mga lived experiences of COVID survivor. Kana sa possible kana mga COVID survivor, wala pa yung mga dagan study ana. May ano? Wala pa yung mga dagan study. So unique kayo ang imong mga team ng mga gawas ana dinha. Okay? Kay e parehas atong ako Yolanda, sa ako discussion gamay ra ang ako i-support kay at that time wala may wala ba may super typhoon. Ang ako ra gani nakuha ato is katong tsunami sa Japan, but there's only limited uh, research about it. Okay? So kung sa COVID, I think I don't know, i-search ra ninyo kung nanay mga study about mga experiences of COVID survivor nga possible ang theme na mugawas sa imo theme is similar to the theme that ha have already came out in the previous research or the existing research conducted last year. Sure ko, base na ano na, pero gamay ra. If, if your studies about COVID, uh, lived experiences of COVID survivors. And what else? Kaniyang iya kay mga kuan mani katong mga students nga nabuntis while they are schooling kung sa ilang mga live experiences ka ng mga 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 estudyante nga nabuntis and then ilang mga experiences facing ordeal a path to parenthood mao ang mga theme nga nigawa sa iya embracing the value of education at the same time then standing up and being strong, diba? envisioning the family. Tapos if you're going to look at the discussion, nana sa mga support, kay daga na mag-study na conduct about ka ng mga, mga pregnant woman na, na, na at the same time they are student, diba? because they have, they have that, that phenomenon is not, is not experienced by all. Diba? That's why it is called phenomena or phenomenon. O, oh, kanak pong parespond sa Yolanda, not all have experienced the same. Diba? So, it's good that you have a lot of backups, a lot of related studies. Para matanaw po ni mo dito nga, what, what are the possible themes that emerge or that have emerged in the previous study? So, kung kuan pa siya, kung about COVID, 
possible gamay pa na siya. Okay. Sige. Other questions? Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Tanang how to present sa uh, results and discussion sa phenomenology, sir. Okay. So after you share, uh, example kani, yan nag present ang iyong findings. Ang imo discussion is, ano raka? Discussion, theme one. Unsay na sa theme one. Tapos unsay mga support ni mo. I'll show you mine. Discussion. Okay. There were important findings from this study after one of the most devastating disasters of our time, beyond the emergence of five major things. Anara. In the first major theme, which is unperturbed and used, the informants, the informants honestly talk about how lenient and calm they were up they were upon hearing the news and warning. The reason for this was that they were already used to different typhoons in their place. According to NBBRC 2013, this is one of the reasons why the city acquired large human casualties despite the government's warning. Okay, so it supports the claim of theme one and so on and so forth. Okay. I have only gamayra ang ako discussion because at, the, at this time, Yulanda pa man ang present study. Wala pa may mga study related sa mga storm. Ang ako ra nakita is about tsunami. But if you're going to have this one, oh, daghan na kaayos sa. Oh, giana ra niya. You can present your discussion this way. Okay? Ang ako kay murag paragraph 4. Ang iya kay iya gi enumerate. Like, theme 1. Emotional challenges include fear of what will happen and uh, what will happen uncertainty with the future, anger with oneself, and denial. These emotion, emotions were identified because of the seemingly in, because of the seemingly insurmountable adversities that these women, so she's referring to the informants, experienced during their pregnancy. So that's according to uh, perceptions of okay? So you can search this one. It could be in a paragraph form. Your discussion could be in paragraph form. Or you can have it enumerated. The themes are enumerated this way. Okay? So, yung anara yung discussion. Simple. Very simple. What is good with phenomenology is you can have a, a simple way of presenting your findings and a simple way of discussing the findings. Okay? But just make sure, just make sure if there are already existing studies that support your claims, that supports your the results okay the the present result or the result of your studies make sure that you have um you have indicated it press any envisioning family imo imo gipang capture ang mga literature that supports the result of your study okay so in ana then conclusion Conclusion and recommendation. Gamay ra gani yung conclusion. Recommendation. Yung anak ra. Very simple. I only have short discussion because thorough naman ang ako findings diri. Dagan naman ka ayaw ko gipamutan. So I have only short discussion. And also. Then conclusion dayan. Then recommendation. What else? So, do I have option ha, in presenting your discussion? You can present it in a paragraph form like this one. But you need to emphasize, okay? In the first major theme, which is unperturbed and used, na agyapon siya. In the second major theme, focus on how the informants. And the third major theme, na nagyapon siya, but in a paragraph form. Or you can have it this way. This way. Okay? You can present your, you know, not this one. This way. By theme. I enumerate rin mo ang theme, tapos discuss, then cite ang katong mga study. Kani siya kay Dagan na mag-study about pregnant students. Okay? So, Dagan na siya na-support. What else? Thank you, sir. Yes.
Are there more questions? None, sir. Oh, sir Leo? No more sa abstract writing, everyone? Sa abstract na writing? <laughs> Na-answer na ako mga questions, sir. Di ba? Very good. Na, very good. Sabi ninyo. <laughs> So, no more questions from the group. Last na nga meeting ba inata sa research, guys? Next week, next, next, final defense na ta. Sir Byron, ang mo ko am. Mo si tiin na po. Sa abstract na na ko na, Sir Byron. Giyong sa pag-start. Okay, sige. Si Sir Byron, ha? Sa inyong abstract, you can have it this way, Okay. Uh, general statement sa, okay, mga general information. Like ako, nag-discuss ko rin, natural calamities cause massive affliction among affected communities. That is a general statement, okay? So ikaw ra, dapat mag-create mag, mag kag koan. How, how do you conceptualize the idea that, 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 that came out from the research you have? Okay, so general statement. Ang iya po diri, ang usapod, and I want to talk about the idea of presenting the abstract. Oh, uh, she presented it this way. Adolescent pregnancy is a significant societal issue that results in lost opportunities for teenage girls in both developed and developing countries. Tapos after ni mo anong general statement, pwede ka mo diretso na kasa imong method. Okay. This phenomenological research study, so emphasize if you're going to use phenomenology, then phenomenology. Kung kuan imo, kung sana, sa tungo sa, or other type or other style of doing qualitative research, then we state it that way. Okay? So, asa man yung asa? Ang ako, anako. As a result, most survivors have to rely on their coping mechanism and deal with their losses and consequent, consequent emotional grief. grief. So taking November 8th, so napakoy discussion a little of the history kay Juan Manisha ka ng uh, unique, unique na date, unique na typhoon, and so far, unique po dang name. So I have to, I have to emphasize this because of its uniqueness, okay? Then, before pa ko nag-mention sa akong study, okay? This study aims to report findings from, from within a phenomenological study designed to investigate the lived experiences of Yolanda survivors in Tacloban City. So, from the general statement, after general statement, imo general statement na ha, ayo pag-anchor. Dili ka pwede mag, mag, magpuha because... Uh, abstract must be original sa imo. Okay? Pag abot na nimo dito sa discussion, sa imong introduction, pwede na ka mag-capture sa, sa uban uh, researches. Pero kung wala kay ma-capture, I don't know, you ask Sir Leo kung pwede ba na, but I, I, I saw some studies na pwede na siya sa abstract, but there are only few okay, na ma-capture nila ang, ang statement coming from original person who stated it. Unless, siguro, kung nakay theory na i-prove, so pwede ni mo stay. Well, uh, I don't know the detail of that. So, general statement first. After the general statement, ngayon mo gihimo, followed by the method. Unsan method ang imong gigamit? Okay, paras ani. Ang iyang method nga gigamit is phenomenology. Tapos, after method, unsa ang imong way of selecting your uh, or on sa ang imong participants, how many, ang iya diri nag-mention sa of eight participants. Okay? Pwede po na nimo state. Ang ako, wala na ako gimension. Ingon ra ko nga um, in that interviews with survivors were conducted and the responses were audio recorded. Pwede nimo i-discuss na, uh, pwede na nimo i-mention. A gist, a gist of how you, how, how you uh, analyze sa method, murabag, a portion of the method, gamay rajis, murag i-summarize ni mo ang, ang uh, participants or ang imong, ang imong respondents, number of respondents, ang imong method, giunsa ni mo, a little of that only, and then your, 
analysis, then the result. What's the result? Okay? Summary. Ang imurang koan. Ang imo emergent theme. Ang abot bot dere sa usa iya mention ang oh, iya mention ang mga theme. Results show that the participants were went through several stages in their, in their uh, plate or plight. They faced, oh, ana, iya mention ang mga themes. Okay, they with life, so on, so forth. And after that, after sa uh, gist of the result, you mention um, your uh, a little of your conclusion. Okay? A little of your conclusion. In the process, the participants did not only survive, but establish a new sense of purpose and the renewed awareness in life was awakened. So, that's a short portion of my conclusion. Then, you also take a short or a little or, you know, a gist of your recommendation. Okay? So, murag, in one paragraph, imo na din ibutang ang imo intro, one sentence for intro, mga two sentences for your method, one sentence for your result, one sentence for your conclusion, and one sentence from your recommendation. Ang ana ang paghimo sa abstract. Diba? One sentence for your intro. Mga two sentences ang imo method. Okay? Then, napukay one sentence for the result. Then, one sentence for your conclusion. Then, one sentence for your recommendation. Ang ana rin. You only need one paragraph for your abstract. Then, your keywords. Okay? Unsay mga unique din ang term na pwede ni mo ibutan, mga keywords, okay? Ang iya keywords dari kay Gamayra, Adolescent Development, Educational Resilience, Inclusive Education. So, you can have it that way. Okay? Pwede po ng imong mga theme, unique man ang imong mga theme, imo po na ibutan as your keywords. Okay. Okay, perfect to Nicole. Question? Perfect, sir. One hundred. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs>